Hey everybody, this is Keith Kay. It's May of 2020, and uh, I've recently noticed there's a lot more people playing Stranded Deep um, since it was released to some of the consoles. So I thought I would record a new playthrough. Uh, I'll at least record several episodes that'll help you get up and running. Uh, I'm recording on version 70.02, as you can see on the screen here, and we're just gonna get started with a new game. So you have some choices here. I'm just going to stick with the defaults. And as always, we start off uh, in the jet on our way somewhere in the Pacific in the middle of a storm. There's really nothing you can do at this point but go along for the ride. I seem to recall you used to be able to skip this somehow, but uh, it doesn't seem to let you do that anymore. So. Just hang out and wait for the plane to crash. And then the only real thing we've got to do in this scene is swim to the raft. You can't really collect anything. There's no value in exploring as far as I've found. If you've seen anything different, feel free to leave a comment below. Alright. We're just going to swim out of this opening. Find a raft, and you don't even have to climb on it, you just have to approach it, and it'll cut to the next scene. Alright, and here we are. We don't see the wreckage anywhere, and we usually end up pretty close to what will turn out to be one of the smaller islands. But this is where we are going to start, and as you can see, the sharks have already noticed that we're here. Couple things to point out about the raft. Uh, you do have this emergency raft, and this will be your main mode of transportation until you build another one. In order to paddle, you've got to get the paddle off of its um, snaps there. So you're just going to press E to pick that up. Uh, we do have a sea anchor, so if you uh, are on an island that you can't get particularly close to uh, and you don't want it to drift off, you can drop the sea anchor. Uh, one thing to not miss is the raft storage. There is um, always something good in here. So you can see we've got three rations. We've got a compass so that we can plot out our um, islands as we start moving from island to island. And we've got a bandage in case we get hurt. Now hopefully we won't need those right away. Um, I will start with just grabbing what I can. from the ship that we're right next to. We're here, we might as well grab it. Anything that, that is underneath the water here. Now you do want to keep an eye on that bar on the bottom. That is your breadth. Uh, these containers, will, these cabinets will usually have something and you might find a wood container. Just pick that up for now. Um, we'll check out what's in it as soon as we get to the ship. And I will start to struggle with my breath here. I made it. And we see there's another wood container. Again, just pick it up. We'll bring these to the shore and we'll check them out. Okay, so if you do get in the water, it's space to climb in. And then we're going to hold E to ride. Uh, I guess we have to have paddle on our hands. So hold E to operate. And it looks like we've drifted onto the boat, so this may be a little tricky to get off of. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull ourselves this way and then go forward. Now there is another shipwreck over there. We're gonna leave that for now. We'll just head to the shore as best we can make our way. There's a couple of other shipwrecks we can see. I think we'll be able to get to those just from the beach. Now, there is a tutorial that you can see in the upper left, uh, and we'll try to complete that as we go, but the most important thing right now is to get to the point where we can save. So we'll stop operating the raft. I like to put the hook back where it was so it's always with the raft. And you can grab it with the right mouse button. You can see you can move it around. Just drag it up on the beach so it's not going to go anywhere. Oops. Apologize for the 
jerkiness there. Um, so as I was saying, we want to get to the point where we can get uh, fresh water and save, right? Until you can save, if you leave the game, you're going to lose all your progress. So for me, when I first start, my top priority is always to um, get to the point where I can save and get fresh water. So to do that, we're going to focus on creating uh, stone tools so that we can get fiber, fibrous plants, so that we can create lashings because the fibrous plants will grow back. Uh, and so you want to harvest those as soon as you can so they have the opportunity to grow back uh, quickly in case you don't have enough to say um, create some of the things you want before you move on to setting up your main base. So we've gathered a bunch of rocks. Let's just go ahead and drop uh, those. And this is really important, this cloth. We'll need that to create our water still. Um, I like to just stand in a spot and drop three boxes on each other at a time. They stack up kind of nice. Uh, got some duct tape, fishing spear, another fishing spear. Okay, so some good stuff there. Um, now we'll craft by holding down the C menu and we'll craft a stone tool. So we've got that done. Let's go ahead and open up the menu. So we're going to want to create a refined knife. Uh, and that's going to require a lashing, a stick, and then the stone tool that we just created. So the tutorial's asking us to right click on the re refined knife so we can see what we need up here. Um, and to create a lashing, oops, sorry, create a lashing, we need four fibrous leaves. So these palm saplings are basically where we're going to start. And these do spawn back in. So I like to get to them right away in case uh, we don't have enough to get where we need. I have landed on some islands where uh, you can't save. There's just not enough. Uh, so I like to collect these right away. Let's see. We do have enough for a lash. So we just need one wood stick, and we had one of those here. And you don't have to pick it up in this game. As long as you get close, you can see that it just switched from red to white. So if we do our quick craft by holding down C, we now can create a refined knife, which used the stone tool to create it. So that's gone out of our inventory. Let's drop this other stuff. Um, the electrical parts will come in handy just not right now. We can make um, you know engines for the boat, for a boat, or a raft actually, uh, or the gyrocopter when we get to that. Now the um, lantern is really handy and I'll just try to drop it so that it falls straight down. If it doesn't you can right click on it and that'll um, it'll turn on. It doesn't use batteries, right? So just leave it on and as it starts to get dark it'll heat up where you're working so let's go run around and get um, see what else we have here so uh, the bippy plant I would leave that for now you're gonna need a lot of these plants for um, various different things either for food or for fuel or for um, bandages and cures so uh, I would wait honestly until you're ready to start farming I would just leave them uh, and come back to this island when we're ready. Same thing with the potato, just leave that. Uh, and we'll come back to that when we're ready to start farming. We've got a, a bit of work to do before we can worry about that. Corrugated scrap is great um, for building stuff. You can either just leave it, come back to it. I tend to pick everything up. I do one run around the outer perimeter here. And then I'll go look at the interior of the island. You can see my skin's starting to get red, so pretty soon I'm going to need to get out of the sun. It gives you a little bit of grace period, I believe. Um, but then you start to bake. So let's just finish getting some of these fibrous leaves. Again, 
And this island seems to have plenty of them, but... Honestly, it's worth grabbing as much as you can. Um, I used to very quickly leave this initial island, you know, grab whatever was awesome, uh, and then get the heck out of here. But now I prefer to get a working base up and running. Okay, so we're getting the message we need to pull down. We got to get out of the sun. Uh, and you can just go into the shade. You, it'll go away. You hold the F button to see... Um, your stats so you have your health which is full right now your uh, hunger your thirst and then something that was added you know quite a while ago now is SPF you've got to build your SPF back up um, before you can go out in the sun otherwise you can get sunburn sunstroke um, next up are your skills yeah see I've got sunstroke right now so I've got to stay out of the sun um, so we'll hold off on the crab. The yucca tree is a great source of these fibrous leaves. And, <clears throat> you know, when they fall to the ground, if you're not sure if you got them all, you can always quick craft as many lashings as possible. But let's hold off on that because once you make a water st uh, still, you need to um, keep feeding it to keep getting water. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a little bit here. Um, yeah, there's another yucca tree over here, so let's get this because we want to get as much of the fiber as possible. So lashings are good, we will need them, but let's make them as we need them early in the game. And you know, you might miss one, but you'll be back here. Alright, so this wants us to kill a crab. So you can just use any weapon you have, and it just takes one hit to kill them. And then you can see it says, press E to pick up or hold E to skin. I figure just skin it right away. And it'll put oh, the meat gross. right into your storage. So now we want to create a campfire so we can cook that sucker. And you can't just hang on to raw meat for very long. It will uh, go bad. It will become rotten. So, let's see, we cleared that boat. I'll probably go straight over to that island first. Uh, and this is a good spot maybe for a, um, uh, for shelter. So let's get our campfire uh, built. Let's take a look at what goes into that. Campfire is gonna require just four sticks and we've got plenty of those. We go back to our storage. We've got four, five. So you can quick craft it right from here if you've got enough, or you can go to the crafting menu, and that's just C or holding C. Put this right here. Now to light the fire, you can see we need to craft some kindling. So what goes into kindling is, if we go back here, we need two wood sticks to create kindling. And um, until we can chop down a tree with an ax, the ficus tree, we can uh, cut down with our refined knife here. Okay, so you can see if I go to the quick crafting menu, I can get to kindling. And then let's grab our kindling. I'm gonna hold E to light, and then you're gonna left, right, left, right, mouse buttons up. Console command will have something else. I'm not sure what that is, but if you hover over the fire, you'll get the instruction. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my kindling. I tend to keep it close to the fire. Then we'll grab our small crab meat. You used to have to drop it and then try to get it to hover over the fire, which is kind of ridiculous. Now you can just hold E and it goes on a little stick there to cook. And you see that it says campfires can be extinguished and replenished. Um, so our next priority uh, is going to be to pick a coconut. So let's find one of those while that cooks. All right, actually, I think we are coming up on 15 minutes, so I am going to stop here and we will finish up our first day in the next episode. If you enjoyed uh, this episode or got something out of it, please consider subscribing and uh, giving the video a like. It does help the channel, and I appreciate it. 
Uh, and uh, I will see you back here in a couple of days, and we'll wrap this up. Thanks, everybody.